Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I got a parcel. Now do you remember when I done the Lantern Moon crochet hooks that are done by Knit Pro and I got them from a company called Macintosh and they do hand dyed yarn and I said in the video I didn't have any, I didn't order any, I've got some. I have got some and I want to thank James very much for sending this. Now I've got my scissors ready for this. Now Macintosh do hand dyed yarn and the stuff that I have is called My Tenderness. The colour of it is called My Tenderness. Now the one thing that you have to remember, I will put links underneath the video, that if you order this yarn or any of the yarn because it's hand dyed you make sure you order enough for the project that you're going to do because it's all hand dyed you have to make sure that it comes all in the same lot if you know what i mean in the same bundle so i've got a picture of my yarn in the pot getting dyed and here it is And then, what James does with it, he hangs it out to dry, like this. And then when it does dry, it dries slightly lighter. But it also dyes in different hues so that you get quite a beautiful visual texture when you've used it either in knitting or crochet or embroidery, whatever your project is for your yarn. Now I'm going to take this, oh, put the bag in here. Now all the yarn comes in a tote bag. You get a free tote bag. Do you want this bag, Molly? <laughs> My little dog wants this paper bag. So I'm going to open up this bag and you get this free tote bag. Woohoo! Oh, look at that. <laughs> Nothing like advertising. That's brilliant though. That's a really good bag for things. I really like that. This is a great tote bag. Great for taking your crochet around. Now, let's have a look at this yarn the sheep wool that macintosh use is a blue faced leicester now this is a semi-solid yarn that means it's got different hues of the color that it gets dyed with and i have put pictures up of oh my goodness oh my goodness look at this yarn this is so pretty. Now this is all hand dyed. It is hand dyed. It's called My Tenderness. I've got my light just shining in there. It's called My Tenderness, this yarn. It's soft. Oh my. This is soft. Now it's done in what's called a skin. A skin. And you take it out and you put it on a machine. You can roll it into a cake. Now, I remember my mother had these. You take the label off and you untwist it. And she used to put it in your hands. Remember your grandmother or your mother doing that? <laughs> we used to move all over the place. She would take it off and put it on the spindles of her chair. Or turn her chair upside down and do it that way. And then roll it into a ball. But now you've got little rolling machines. Now there should be four of these. And there is a card in here. And you get that bag as well. That's not bad. And you get a little tag. You get... A Macintosh tag that you can sew onto your, it says hand wash and dry flap. It's got the instructions on. And you just sew that onto the garment that you make. And it's got, dear Alison, enjoy Macintosh hand dye DK. Uh, wind it before use into a ball. <laughs> and it's got on it from James. So I have got a wool winder. 
I have got a wool winder, so I will do that. I'm going to pop that back in there just now and put it out of the way. Now, this lilac is called My Tenderness. I'll put a link under the video to the website because it does have other yarn. And that BFL is a blue-faced Leicester sheep, a very Roman-looking sheep. But again, it's like I didn't even know that all those sheep that were running around in the field where my sister lives, that they were blue-faced <laughs> blue faced Leicesters. I do remember one time I saw them and it was cold outside and I thought, oh, they look freezing over there, or the poor little faces, because they're wool all over them and their faces do look. There is a tinge of blue in their face because... Apparently, in the, the skin in their head is actually a dark blue and it shines through the white fur of the face. They're, they're big sheep. They're big sheep as well. Now, this is so pretty. Now, you can see the different hues and the colour, but it was all dyed at the same time. That is going to look absolutely amazing crocheted up. It's going to be beautiful and it's a beautiful shades, all shades of lilacs and little speckles of blue in there. Now, what you would do is, now all this, everything's plastic free except for that sticky label. <laughs> and uh, look at this, there's instructions inside here. Macintosh wool is 100% natural fibre. Each skein is individually hand-dyed to create a visual texture of darker and lighter tones when knit or crocheted or used. So before working two colours together, you suggest add. So if you're going to use this colour and maybe another colour, it says add two tablespoons of distilled white vinegar to lukewarm water and soak your Macintosh wool for 12 hours. Rinse until the water runs clear, dry on a radiator, enjoy your Macintosh wool. Now, I will find out, I take it that is before you do it. So, I take it, you, you take it like this, and uh, you'll put it in your basin of water with two tablespoons of distilled white vinegar and to just look warm water. So, just warm water and soak it for 12 hours. That's if you're going to use two different colours. And that way, when you if you make a garment with this and maybe white and then it won't, hopefully it won't run, it won't run. But it is all hand dyed and it is 100% natural fibres. And you can feel it. It's really soft. A lot of, I've had wool, 100% wool before and it's been quite coarse. But this is really soft. It's really soft. Now, each skein is 100 grams, so I've got 400 grams, and I'm going to make myself a shawl with this. I'm going to work out a little pattern specifically for this, and I'm going to use my Lantern Moon crochet hooks. But what I will do is, when you go to unravel this, you'll untwist it like this. You'll untwist it. Oh, now it is tied. I did see a thread here. There it is there. So it is all tied up. You'll take that thread out. And then what you'll do is you'll open your skein up like this. And the other side. Try not to twist it make a mess out of it and it's all tied in you'll untie that and then wrap it up into a ball now I actually think that I will, I'm just going to hand roll it into a ball and then I'll use my little wool making thing there's other little bits that's just tied in all nice and neat so it doesn't get all messed up and what you'll do is you'll just unravel it, roll it into a ball by hand and then you can use it. Or you can use your wool winder. Now I have seen people with those big spinning ones for these skeins. It's the wool winders 
and then there's a thing that opens up like an umbrella and you can wrap these around them and then use your wool winder and that will wind it into a yarn cake. I don't have one of those, but I do have a wool winder and I've got my hands as well, so I can always just roll it into a ball. Um, my mum's had hand-dyed... Oops, there's how you turn it back into a skein. You just twist it like this and then let it twist into itself like that. I'll just keep that there because that's the one I'm going to roll into a ball. It's beautiful. It's my tenderness. It's telling me to use a 4mm hook. That's a USA size 6. And you can use that same size in knitting needles. Now, just bear in mind, this is hand dyed yarn. It's 100% natural wool. It's not your 99 pence off the shelf yarn. This is yarn that you would get to make something special. To make a beautiful sweater or a cardigan for yourself. Natural wool keeps you warmer as well. Acrylic yarn is nowhere near the quality of this. It is absolutely beautiful. If you are going to make something special for someone or for yourself, or you just like natural 100% wool, then try this. Try this. Go and have a look. There's not just this My Tenderness range. This one is called Tenderness. The, there is 24 different shades in the hand-dyed yarn. But please remember, get enough, order enough for the item that you're going to make. If you roughly know how much it takes to make a cardigan, a sweater, a bag, a hat and scarf or a shawl, then order enough of the yarn because the next time it gets hand-dyed, there might be it might come out a little bit darker or a little bit too lighter to go with the yarn that you've already got because each batch is individually dyed and I'll show you those photos again of it in the pot <laughs> the yarn that I've got right here in the pot and then hanging out to dry And that is how all the Macintosh yarn is hand-dyed. There is other yarn on the website. There's lots and lots and lots of crochet hooks, knitting needles. And you know something? I got a little email saying that they had square knitting needles. I have never heard square, square knitting needles. I'm obviously thinking that it's still going to make a round stitch by the time it comes off. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm going to have to investigate it a little bit more. Square square knitting needle. I can knit. I can knit. I like to crochet. It's a square knitting needles are very intriguing. So thank you very much for watching, and a big thank you to James McIntosh for the yarn. There is something to fit everyone's budget on that website, and I'll put a link underneath the video. So thank you very much for watching. Keep your eye open for the video of the show using this yarn. And then please subscribe to the channel. Completely free for you to subscribe to the channel. Please click on the bell icon and YouTube will notify you when I put up another tutorial. Feel free to leave a comment as well and a thumbs up if you like the video. It's greatly appreciated. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.